Hello, this is the review of the Nikaya 17mm Portable Writer in the Shobu finish. I apologize if I pronounce it wrong, but I think that's how you pronounce it. And I will be pronouncing Nikaya as Nikaya. There's other pronunciation. So let's get into the packaging first. It comes in a kimono as well. And it comes in this cardboard box. Inside is a wooden box, which is very soft and looks very high quality and has the Nikaya logo on it and it looks very elegant In, inside this is the kimono but i took it out and you have a converter you have a cartridge ink and yeah and you have other stuff underneath it but just the usual now let's get into the pen itself as you can see this is a purple finish purple orushi finish which looks very classy and as you can see there's no clip so it's prone to rolling around so keep that in mind and the video doesn't make the color justice it is a lot more richer purple in real life than it is in video as you can see the nip section is kind of unique in that it's a lot slimmer than the body but it's very comfortable the body itself is pretty girthy but the nip section is what makes it comfortable because it's a little bit it tapers around and flares out so it makes it very comfortable it's more comfortable for me than the portable virus they're the usual size so hence why I got this because I like a little bit more thicker pens and as you can see the nib the nib is gorgeous it's a basically rebranded platinum nib and it is, this is a soft medium nib it has a plastic feed too this is a 14 karat gold nib and when it comes to holding the pen it's very comfortable it's very lightweight because ebonite body called it urushi so it's a lightweight pen so it's good for a long writing sessions but thing with this is you can't post this for obvious reasons because urushi and some people might post it because urushi is very durable so you can post it at your own expense but i personally don't post my pens for comparisons, here we have a Mont Blanc 146, which is where, a lot slimmer, as you can see. Then you have a Mont Blanc 149, which is in the same hemisphere, but still thicker than a Mont Blanc 149, in terms of just the cap and the body. But it's a lot lighter than you would expect. Then you have the Namiki Yukawa Royale, the red and purple just look opposite, very cool. Then you have Black Urushi. Pilot Custom Urushi in the Black Urushi finish. So we have a Pelican N1005. And you have a Lamy Safari for just for general comparisons, just so you get an idea of how big this pen is. This is not a small pen, this is not a slim pen. This is a thick and big pen, which is why people get it. And here you have this Sailor King of Pen Urushi, which is in blue Urushi, but kind of looks like a navy. As you can see, the purple is just popping it's just beautiful color and a nib the nib isn't that big which is kind of disappointing but it's still a good writing nib and as you know platinum nibs are a lot harder and there's a lot more feedback when it's uncapped as you can see it's a lot longer than the 149 146 which gives you an idea but uh, in terms of how the nib sections are as you can see it is midway between the 146 and 149 which is good good intersection in my opinion it's very comfortable for me personally and has pretty much similar nib as the 146 and I do wish it was two-tone which would make it a lot better and to get an idea of how long this pen is this is probably custom which is a very oversized pen and the body is slightly longer than the Pilot Custom Urushi. I think that just gives you an idea of how long this Polar Rider is. It's a lot longer than you would expect. It has the same amount of girthness as the Pilot Custom Urushi in terms of body. And it's a little bit slimmer in terms of nib section, but as you can see, but the nibs are drastically different. Now, in terms of mechanisms to cartridge converter, it's pretty easy to ink it up. So it's no problem here, as you can see. Let's get into the writing sample, which is the most important part of the pen. I'll do a top-down writing first. 
as you know, Platinum Nips, which Nakai is part of, is very hard. There's a lot of feedback. It's basically writing with like a nail. This is supposed to be a soft medium for the Nakai Gold Nip, but there's nothing soft about this. This is still very stiff. It's more stiff than almost all my nips. Actually, all my nips, this is very stiff. There's, when they say soft, it's not really soft. It kind of like concaves in terms of shape of the nip, but it's not really that soft. But it's still a good nip. This is good for people that like hard nips and like to take notes very hard. Because you don't have to worry about extending the tines of your nips when you're writing fast. This is a good nip for those. And some people just enjoy hard nibs. So if this is the case, then this is a great nib for you. But you can get the same nib with a Platinum Century 3776. So you don't have to spend this much money just to get the nib. So you're buying this pen, not for the nib, obviously, because you're buying for the Rushi and the finish. And the nib is just a bonus. So the nib is enjoyable to write with. It's not the best nib that I like. It's not my favorite nib, but it's still good enough nib. And it's not actually bad when it comes to reversal writing. There's obstetutiness, but it's still a very good nib to write with. There's not much line variation, even though it's supposed to be a soft nib. And there's also elastic Nikaya platinum nibs, and her those are more flexible. But keep in mind, that's still not going to be what you expect because they're known to be hard nibs. Now let's get into the side view of the brand sample for people that enjoy that. Now let's get into pros and cons. First, starting off the pros, the nib. It's a reliable nib. It writes out of the box. It's very tuned. They tune it for you before you gets to you. For Nikaya that, that I know, I don't know about Platinum, but for Nikaya they actually tune it. So it's a good nib out of the box. Looks like a beautiful nib. Another pro is size and weight. In terms of size, the pro, the the pro thing is, it's a bigger pen, so it's for bigger people that have bigger hands or like bigger pens. And because the Ebonite body is lightweight, so you can write for longer writing sessions. So it's not a problem when it comes to long writing sessions. Even though it looks big, it's actually pretty lightweight because of the Ebonite body. The major pro for this pen is the Urushi. The Shobu finish, the purple finish, is just gorgeous. Looks a lot better in person. It's just a very rich purple color get better over time. So that is one of the good things about Urushi, it changes over time. I love the Urushi finish and that's what takes up most of the cost of the pen as well. The cons. The biggest con is the size. When I refer to size, I mean the nib in correlation to the body. As you can see, the nib is super small for a pen this big. I want them to have a nib that's comparable to 149 to be put on this pen. Because as you saw in the custom Urushi comparison, there's no way this, this pen should be longer than custom Urushi. You have a nib that's the same nib size, like a number six size nib. That's just ridiculous and it just looks very off. And I didn't realize how off this would look when I got it, but this looks very off. So I wish it was a bigger nib. Also, another thing with size is the fact that this is a big pen. So this can be a problem for a lot of people. So keep that in mind, and because it's lightweight, you can get away with it, but keep that in mind. Another con with this pen is ink capacity. Platinum cartridge converters are very small. Similar to a sailor, they don't hold down with ink. So that can be a problem, especially considering how big the body of the pen is. So they, if they could make a bigger converter, that would be great for these kind of pens. 
so you could take like the pilot has the con 70 which holds 0.9 millimeters of ink which is good enough i wish platinum came up with a converter that's very long that could actually fit the body of the pen because there's so much space left in the body so you could get more ink capacity and lastly it's the price this costs retail 845 dollars 840 if you're not getting with the converter but if you order this through Nikaya directly, it's, the converter is not included. So you have to pay $5 extra for the converter to be included. Which, in my opinion, is kind of ridiculous. At $840, converter should be included to begin with. You should not add a converter to your cart to when you're ordering it with them. And another con with this pen is that there's wait times. I have to custom order directly with Nikaya. So I have to wait 2-3 months before I got this pen. Which is not actually bad because usually it takes 3-4 months, sometimes more than that for most of these pens. So that's one of the cons. And I had to pay about, another it's like $50, $55, $55 I think in shipping costs. Because when I ordered it, it was during the coronavirus early times. And the EMS was shut down so I had to order it through DHL. So keep that in mind when trying to order direct to Nakaya. You might have to pay a lot in shipping. I enjoy this pen. Mostly for the Urushi, not for the nib, because I don't really enjoy the nib that much. I like a little bit more softer nibs. I still like harder nibs, like sailor nibs, but not as much as platinum nibs. And my biggest problem with this pen is the fact that the nib is so small compared to the body. For a pen that costs $845, I expect the nib to be a lot bigger because cost that much and yes the cost is mostly for urushi as well but as you can see with other urushi pens they can put a bigger nib so i wish they put a bigger nib on this which would make it look a lot more pleasing other than that i love the urushi i like the purple color it's very rich it's very good to look at and another con that might be for some people is the fact that it doesn't have a clip but that's not a problem with me it just looks very elegant for my taste there's a version with a clip, so if you want that, you can get that order as well. That, but that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.